Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another product review video. If you've been waiting for this one, it's right here in front of us. I've also reviewed another backpack by Swiss Digital Design, but also right here in front of us, we have the Cosmo 3.0 massaging backpack with RFID protection, and it also has smart charging system inside. We're gonna get all in all that, don't you worry about that. My other video for them will be linked in the description box below. They also sell these backpacks at Costco. You can check them out there if you want, or just look in the description box below and I will have this one and the other one that I did review linked up. It's a phenomenal bag, the previous one, and I'm expecting big things from this one as well. It's a really cool shape to it, so let's get it over here and let's go ahead and run through it. All right, as we can see here, very nice material. Let's go ahead and get that little protective plastic off there for the Swiss Digital Design logo right here, matte black. We're gonna go ahead and start with the back of the bag first. You do have your little hanger right up here as well. All right, we removed the plastic there. And as you can see here, here's your adjustable straps here and here as well. And that also goes down into the back area here. So you're looking at this area here padded back here with your massagers right here. We're gonna to get to that in just a second here, but let's go ahead and bring around the straps. As you can see, these are padded straps. This is all padded material here on the back as well. And that actually goes all the way through, so that can sit right on top of your carry-on luggage, as we can see here. But you do have some areas that are behind there as well where you can slip some things in right in the back of that that does not go through just this area here for your carry-on luggage. At the top of the straps, we have more pads here, and then that would be a coarse cushion there as well. Coming down to our massagers here, which are beaded a little bit. And then on your left strap, if the backpack is on you, your left strap is gonna have your USB cord right here where you can plug in to power up. All right, let's go ahead and pull it down here as the zippers go all the way underneath here on each side. And that opens up the bag this direction here where you have multiple pockets. So let's go ahead and start in this direction here. And this actually goes all the way down as well, folds open. And there is some protective plastic that gives the backpack some shape during shipment. Inside is nice and large with over here on this side, a little clip for your keys, and then a little nylon little pocket over here on this side there. Coming around to the front of that area, you're gonna have another nylon pocket here, and then that would again zip up all the way. That again is the back portion of the backpack where your straps are here, and what we looked at was inside of this hole here. So up here again, we have a couple little slots for pins, little slots for cell phone, mouse up here on this side, whatever you guys wanna put in there. Little zipper pocket about a hand width down, as you can see my hand there. Another nylon little strap area down here. And then coming to an area here would be more for your larger tablet and then your computer back here on this side with some elastic straps that would hold down the corners, which perfectly fits my 15.6 inch screen. So this backpack is not gonna be able to fit a 17 inch screen if you are wondering. This is the main slot for your laptop right here. My other backpack I have reviewed by Swiss Digital Design does fit a 17 inch laptop. So check out that video. Again, will be linked below with the link as well as at the end of the video. All right, so let's go ahead and take that guy out. Coming back to up top here, which is going to open up to your cords here. Now you have a double USB here. So again, in order for the massager to work, you will need a power bank like this here. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in my white USB here. Now, if you had a double port, the white one is to power the massager. And if I plugged in the black one, that would be to power any device that you have coming in here. So if you have a power bank that has two USBs, it would be better than this. This is one USB and a type C. So I would recommend something a little bit more compact like this, but go one with two USBs so you can have both this simultaneously going with the massager. So let's go ahead and show you the massage feature. We put our power bank in there, obviously with it on, connected, and then coming around to this side here, once again, down here at the bottom, right where your side flaps are here, you have your on button right here. We go ahead and hold that down, about one, two seconds there. And the first one is gonna be the massagers right up here in the shoulder pads, right here in the top. So these are massaging right now. These ones are off. 
We're gonna go ahead and push it one more time. And now these ones are massaging down here at the bottom. Both of them are going at the same time. We hit it one more time and all the massagers are going. So these two are going and both shoulder straps up here, the right and the left. And we hit that one more time. And then you go back to just the ones up here on the top straps. Let me see. Yep, there is just three modes there. Only the top straps, only the bottom ones, or having them all four go at the same time. And then you just hold it down for about two more seconds, about a second and a half or so, and it completely shuts off there. You also do, now that we're on the back of it here again, you also have this strap that goes around your waist down here at the bottom. That would take some weight off of your shoulders if you wanted to put that again around your waist there. Tighten that up to your specifications. As you can see here, the side of the backpack right here, here is your on and off button. And then my upper straps right up here. All right, so this is what the backpack looks when it's on me. Right here, I don't have the bottom strap on right now. And your nice adjustments right here. Swiss Digital design right here. And having your massagers right up here on your shoulders here. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the bottom strap so that the back massagers can go ahead and tighten up to my back portion. And let's go ahead and hit my switches. There we go. Right now the top ones are going. That's cool. That's cool, long day, boom. Traveling, school, that's cool. Very nice, let me go ahead and hit the bottom one here. Hey, all right. Get that lower lumbar going there. All right, very nice. Let's go ahead and hit it one more time and let's get them all going, that's pretty cool. I'd say overall, it's definitely more than subtle, not too strong, not medium either. I'd say it's a nice little comfortable feel to it. And it depends about the curvature of your back. I don't have the best posture, but remember you do have these straps up here as well that will loosen or tighten that back portion, not to mention these as well. And then you do have the lower one as well. So play around with your straps for your body type to be able to hit the proper direction of what you want to hit. Okay, and just when you thought we were done, each on the left and right side, and by the way, if you didn't notice that, we do have material here that folds over the zippers a little bit for more of a streamlined look as it folds over there. Okay, so back to the left and right side, we have some small pockets here on the side that go in, as you can see in my hand. My hands are pretty big, and you can have something right there, and then going over to this side, this one's even larger. That one, you'd be able to have a big water bottle of some sort over here on this side and pop that guy on up. So maybe like a smaller little sipper water bottle over here and then something a little bit larger, like a 16 ounce. Uh, probably, I think maybe even a Hydro Flask 32 ounce might be able to fit on this side as well. And it's not a Hydro Flask, but it's a 32 ouncer. So let's see if it fits. Okay, let's go ahead and get that bad boy right there. Oh yeah. Even with my little lid topper clip just buckles in. That is sweet. That's a great feature for my water bottle there. And then of course this side would just be your small 16, 20 ounce water bottle over here on this side. Great feature. If you are wondering, the bottom of the backpack is your gray fabric material right here. That's a great color scheme. I really do like the backpack. And again, this side right here, it's material, but it has a little bit of a kind of a mold to it, I guess you could say. It's like a fabric where it's not hard shell, but it's like, you know, like a soft shell suitcase, but it's different than just having like material material. So it's gonna have a little bit of forgiveness if you do smash that in to protect your laptop. And the dimensions of the backpack are gonna be 11 by 5.25 inches by 16.25 inches. And again, this is for a 15.6 inch laptop. All right, so inside here, we have ourselves my sunglasses case here, which is a big Oakley one right here. On this side, of course, we've already seen my water bottle that I slipped in here, right here, 32 ounce Hydro Flask, uh, wannabe Hydro Flask. Zipping this all the way down, folding that open there. We have my wallet, we have my tablet, and we also have my 15.6 inch 
laptop right over here. Guys, overall, that's a solid backpack. Look for your links below, see what other people are saying about it, pick one up yourself, but just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about, but if it intrigues you and you have the cash, go ahead and purchase on away. Check out the features in that link, check out the other backpack, the 17-inch backpack that I have reviewed already. Again, that's all right below. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you make an informed decision. Subscribe on your way out. I've given you way too much information. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next review. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.